Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. Today I'm here uh, with my man, Luke Cape. If everybody just wants to meet Luke real quick, quick let me tell you about Luke real fast. Luke is, how, how old are you, Luke? Uh, 22. Luke is 22 years old. He's been selling cars since you were, what, 18? Is that right, Luke? Since I was 18, yeah. Since he's 18. Luke's dad owns a car dealership. I, I talked to Luke's dad before. You know, Luke's dad is obviously a really successful guy, made a lot of money in his life. And he says, hey, uh, take my young buck son, Luke, here under your wing, teach him, and uh, let's, let's grow him some wings and let's let him make some big money. So – I would like for Luke to tell his side of the story here. And listen, let me just share this. Let me tell you why I'm talking about Luke. Number one, Luke just finished his month of March. Am I right, Luke? Right. How many cars did you sell, Luke? How much 22 money and a half. I made almost $14,000, 13 and some change. Okay. Have you ever made 14 grand before in your life? Never. How's it feel? It, it's a feeling that I can't even describe. It's, it's awesome, man. It's what I've wanted ever since I got in the car business. And you're just getting started. I, guys, I'm going to hand this over to Luke, and I'm going to tell you this. In the midst of hard times, in the midst of everybody right now wondering, you know, what's the next step, let me tell you what steps, let Luke tell you what steps he took, and I want you guys to listen to this. And I would love for you to be encouraged because I know Luke, okay? And Luke has been through some really hard times. Luke has been really discouraged before. Luke has got his butt kicked before. But Luke is coming up and coming up fast just within the last couple months. Right, Luke? That's right. All right, Luke, I'm going to hand it over to you. Why don't you tell them a little bit about how we met and uh, go from there. I want, I want you to tell them uh, leading into last month, how did you have such a great month? What did you do? And um, I would love for you to share some of these gold nuggets that salespeople can take with them to crush it to the next level. Man, so, so first off, um, kind of how I met Andy was uh, I, the, the store that I first started working at, um, I had a salesman there who I went to high school with, and uh, he told me, he said, man, this Andy Elliott that I used to work for, he was my GM, he, he knows his stuff, man. Uh, so I started talking to him about, about Andy, and about another year went on, and I, I met Andy going through the, his seminar, went to the seminar. Uh, changed my world dramatically, not only just with the closes and the different things he's taught me, how to maximize my car deals and how to sell more. And uh, he, he really taught me how to stay motivated, how to keep motivated. Uh, when you, you got that five o'clock day, how to, to stay till eight, how to be happy about it, not to, to, be, to be dragging around um, and coming to work to work, not to hang out with your buddies, not to to whine and moan about what's going on outside and who's doing what and who's doing this. Um, he really has taught me to come to work to work and constantly stay productive. I mean, if you find yourself not being productive, like, I, man, I try to just, what, what can I do to be productive right now? So, Luke, so what you're saying is you're definitely a loner right now. Am I right? For sure. For sure. Yeah, I don't hang out with anyone at the store right now. Okay. One, one of got, my best buddies that I went to high school with, um, we, we don't even talk in the dealership because he, he's kind of doing the same as me. You know, he, he led the board this last four or five months and man, he, he taught me that as well. And Andy taught him that, um, that you gotta be a loner. It, you don't come to work to socialize and hang out with your friends. I mean, at home we talk and stuff, but, uh, at work, we just, we don't even talk at all. And are you talking about Bryson? Yes. Okay, let me ask you this. Is, has Bryson been the top salesman every month? Uh, the past four or five months, yeah. You got him, didn't you? I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does that feel, baby? Man, it, it feels good. It feels good. That's it called feels fun really competitive, man, isn't it? Yes, it, it's really fun when you have someone in the building that is kind of your style and you're chasing – it's, it's really fun. You know, we were, we went head to head and actually at one point in the middle of the month, uh, Bryson was four five, six units up on me. And then four days later I was ahead of him. You know, that, that was cool because there was at one point in the month that I was, I noticed my head getting down, like, man, Bryson's going to beat me. And I just kind of had to slap myself across the face and go, man, what are you, what are you talking about? You got this. And I just, uh, I powered through it and made it happen. I love it, man. Um, so basically, in, in, in all, if you had anything to say 
to somebody. My bad. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yep. If you have yep, anything you. to say to somebody, whether they're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, I don't care. For everybody in automotive sales right now, with everything going on, if you had to give some advice, what would your advice be, Luke? Man, my advice would be to lift your head up and be a one percenter right now. And by that, I mean, uh, I would say 90 plus percent of salespeople right now are getting down about this coronavirus and man, we can't make money right now. There's this going on and this going on. Now's your time to shine because so many people have just laid down and not knowing what's going to happen and being scared. I mean, you, you have to push through that and you got to keep selling cars. The economy goes on, the world goes on. So you got to be that one guy in the dealership right now who's pushing hard and you're, you're going to make it. You're going to do well, coronavirus or not. It, it doesn't matter. And if their dealership shut down and they can't sell, what would you recommend them to do? Man, I, if that were me, I would go through, if you've been in the car business for a little bit, I would go through all the people that I've sold and I'd be writing them thank you cards. Um, I, I would really reach out to my past customers and just see what I can do to help them, write them thank you cards, uh, send them birthday cards, that, that sort of thing. Yeah, you know, it's so funny when times are great, who's there for you? But when times are tough, the people that are there for you when times are tough is what really matters. Would you agree? Yes, absolutely. You could go through the customer base and even people you don't know, you could send them an email and not even offer to purchase is to sell them a car and just say, I wanted to reach out and check on you and your family. Right. That's what, that will recreate so much response. It would be insane. They always say people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. The fact that right now is the time to show people we care. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. And if your dealership is closed down for a month, even for two months, when they open back up, you can recoup all of that money. As long as you're preparing right now, staying mentally strong, focusing on being come 10 times more skilled than you were before is right now the time to train harder than ever. Absolutely. You, I would be watching Andy videos as much as I could. I would be trying to get as much training in as I possibly can. Um, that way, when the store does open back up, you're ready. You're rocking and rolling. You're not like the other 10, 15, 20 salesmen, however many people you guys got. Trying um, to start are, over. Yes, trying to start over and maybe feeling a little rusty. You, you'll come back in the first day feeling confident. Who, who's, who am I going to sell a car to today? Hey, let me ask you a question, and then we're going we're gonna to finish up here. Number one, I'm really proud of you. Uh, guys, like I said, Luke, top salesman of the month, 14 grand, 22 and a half cars, best month of his life, 22 years old. Guys, everybody has their best month ahead of him, and Luke is just getting started. Um, guys, it's March. Luke, you came to the Master Closer Seminar in December, right? Yes. So you've only been training hard for, what, about three months? Am I right? Yeah, that's right. It, and look at the win that you have on your hands. And let me ask this, okay? When you came to the Master Closer Seminar, how, how much did it cost you? Uh, well, it, in all honesty, it really didn't cost me anything. It made me money. It cost me a grand, but I, I made that back easily within the first week. So what I want to tell you is, have you ever had before that day, had you ever had spent a grand on yourself before? No kind of nerve-wracking a little bit wasn't it it was when when you first reached out to me and tell me it was a grand I was like oh gosh man I I don't think I can do that and uh yeah. man if you don't have if you don't have the money you got to find it because it takes money to make money and that's exactly what I did is got your seminar training and uh I went from having management close probably eight out of ten of my deals to they close I think I know of three, maybe possibly four out of the 22 that I sold last month. That's amazing, man. That's amazing, dude. So how does it feel though, the confidence that you carry now, as you know that you can handle and close your own customers and the confidence, the bulletproof confidence that you have? Man, you just walk around feeling different. Um, when you talk to customers, you feel different. You, you know that they're going to buy from you. You just feel confident about it. You're not afraid anymore, are you? No, you just assume the car deal. No matter what objections I throw at you, 
do you fear them anymore? Even if you can't get it right, do you fear it? No. Isn't that a beautiful feeling? When you role play, live role play, we've, we, we've role played plenty of times, live role play together, right? And right. every time you do it with on the spot in front of everybody, how does it feel? It sucks, right? Yeah. How does it feel when you walk away though? Oh, it feels great. Yeah. Isn't Matter that, of fact, there was, I used to never ever role play and I'd been dodging it and dodging it. And here about a month back, Andy kind of made me do it really. And I, that was the best thing that he could have done for me because I just, I felt so much more confident after that day. Yeah. Well, it brought you out of your shell. You know what I'm it saying? Did. It did. Yeah. I love it, dude. Listen, number one, I'm extremely proud of you. And I'm just going to tell you this. Um, this is a video I want you to look back on in a year from now and say, my gosh, man, I'm sitting here making $28,000. I remember that first 14 grand milestone. This is beautiful. You're 22 years old, man. Your, your life's going to be amazing. It doesn't matter what age you are. Everybody has a giant win waiting in front of them, just like Luke. You have to see yourself as an investment. You have to know that you're capable. You can't stay around people that think small, right, Luke? Luke, anytime I'm around you, do I think big? You, you think really big, yes. Do I let you think small? No. Right? And guess what? You're finally realizing that you're starting to max out your full potential. Your potential was huge. I saw it way before you did. But guess what? You had to take action on it and bet on you, and you became your own biggest fan. And now you're rooting for yourself, you're pushing, you're training, and guess what? You're at the top of the sales board. Now they're going to be chasing you, bro. So you got to stay on top. Yep, got to stay on top. Yes. You're just along for the ride, man. It's Luke City from now on, baby. <laughs> yes, that's what it yes, is. Man. Well, listen, dude, I appreciate you, Luke. You're amazing, guys. Um, everybody in the, in the comments below, if you love the video, if you like it, put up a like sign. And like I said, um, if you want to reach out to Luke, you're welcome to reach out to him in the comments. He's an awesome guy. Um, he's 22. He's just like all of us. He's nothing special. I'm nothing special. But we train hard. We work hard. We realize that there's a bigger life for us. We know how our future looks. It's the way that we create it today. Am I right? Yes. I cannot wait to see what is uh, in hold for both of us in a year from now, man. So have a blessed day, Luke. Thank you so much for doing this, man. And crush it. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, brother? Appreciate you.